Choosing the climate of a region is a predominant aspect in any design process. Shading design or designing to protect from overexposure to sun while ensuring sufficient daylight is often a challenging but an interesting task. A basic step towards this is to understand the solar geometry of the region. Many of you would have wondered and got confused by looking into the sun path diagram with so many concentric circles and curved lines. In this video, let's get introduced to the basic concepts of solar geometry and how to read and interpret a sun path diagram. This image shows a typical sun path diagram. We need to understand some basic concepts to read and interpret it for design scenarios. The two basic terms are altitude angle and the azimuth angle. Altitude angle is the vertical angle between the horizontal and the line connecting to the sun. When this is the horizontal, this is the line connecting to the sun, the angle between these two lines is the altitude angle. When the sun is at the rising position, altitude angle corresponds to 0 degree. And when the sun rises above our head, the angle changes to 90 degree. Now, azimuth angle is the angle within the horizontal plane measured from the true south or north. So, with these two angles, we can locate the position of the sun at any point of time. Azimuth angle gives the location of the sun based on how it is tilted from the north or south and altitude angle gives the vertical angle with which the sun is tilted from the horizontal plane. Now, in this animation, let's see how does the altitude angle and the azimuth angle measurement changes when the position of the sun changes. Here, this is the altitude angle. Now, when the sun's position changes, this is the altitude angle. In all the cases, azimuth angle is the same. Now, this is how a sun path diagram looks like for the first time. It may be difficult for a common man or a person who is seeing for the first time to understand it and interpret it. Let's see how to read it. The concentric circles corresponds to the altitude angles. From the outward circle, 0 degree, to the innermost point, 90 degree. And then comes azimuth lines. These are the radial lines starting from the center of the circle. So, when, the, when it is north point, azimuth angle is 0. And when it is at east, it goes to 90 degree. And when it is south, it goes to 180 degree and so on. Now, these are the curved lines. These curved lines correspond to the date or month lines. There is a line for each month of the year. And the dotted lines gives the hours. The time when the sun rises till the sun sets for each month of the year. Now let's see how to find the position of the sun at 9 a.m. in March. First thing what we have to do is to find out the path of the sun in the month of March. This is it. And now we have to find the 9 a.m. line. Now this point, this is the position of the sun at 9 a.m. in March. Now we have to measure the altitude angle and the azimuth angle corresponding to that point. So. A radial line is drawn from the center passing through that point and we have to measure what angle it is which gives the azimuth angle. This corresponds to 97 degree. Now we have to find the altitude angle. Here the point is somewhere between the 50 line and the 40 line. So we have to insert 
a new circle and measure the altitude angle here the altitude angle corresponds to 45 degree so we can locate the position of the sun at 9 am in march as 45 degree altitude angle and 97 degree azimuth angle hope the session was informative subscribe and stay tuned for more videos